Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Before we start, please subscribe our channel. Today, we will be discussing with you 10 fun facts about Man of Steel. Number 10. Henry Cavill refused to take steroids to muscle up for the role. He also refused any digital touch-ups or enhancement to his body in his shirtless scenes. He said it would have been dishonest of him to use trickery while playing Superman, and he wanted to push his body to the limits, to develop his physique into one that was worthy of the character. Henry Cavill said that the most difficult part of making the movie was definitely his two shirtless scenes. He had been training for months prior to filming, but for his shirtless scenes, he went on an extremely difficult diet and training regimen in which his calorie intake was cut from 5,000 to nearly 1,500 for six weeks. Number 9. In a flashback scene, in which Clark Kent is being bullied, he is seen reading, The Republic, by Plato. In, The Republic, Plato describes his, perfect society, which mirrors the makeup of Kryptonian society as given here. Most obviously, both societies have preordained births, in which people are born into roles, such as leaders, warriors, or farmers. The idea that Superman's S-Shield means, hope, is taken from Mark Wade's Superman, Birthright comic. The S-Shield is the Kryptonian symbol for, hope, and Superman, 1978, created the concept of the S.H.I.E.L.D. being a Kryptonian herald for the House of L. Number 8. Henry Cavill naturally has a hairy chest, and left it untouched for the shoot of this movie. He insisted that Superman has chest hair in this film. He rejected the notion that just because you are muscular, you should not have chest hair, and cited the Superman comic book, The Death of Superman, as being an iconic representation in which Superman had a hairy chest. According to Zack Snyder, the Superman shield is designed after post-World War II versions, specifically the 1950-60s shields. I feel he was born again in that era. He came to represent the American fighting machine, and the way America exported its morality to the world. I was drawn to that, and I wanted to get back to a more elegant and sophisticated shield. Number 7. Henry Cavill embarked on a special four-month training regimen by his trainer Mark Twight to get the appropriate physique for his roles as Kal-El. He gained weight by drinking five 1,000-calorie protein shakes a day, then he did cardiovascular workouts to burn away the fat, and build muscle, and finally, he underwent a grueling two-hour workout to build up his muscles and abdomen. When Hardy flies in a helicopter above Smallville, he uses the call sign, Guardian. In DC Comics, Guardian was a superhero, and head of security of a secret organization called Project Cadmus. Number 6. The filmmakers hired Professor Christine Schreier, an expert in anthropology and linguistics at the University of British Columbia, to create the Kryptonian language. She developed an object-subject-verb sentence structure, contrasting the subject-verb-object structure of English, for example, I see him in English would be, him I see in Kryptonian, to reflect that people on Krypton had become selfish and materialistic. John Peters reportedly earned over 50 million due to his profit participation with Warner Brothers on the original Batman movies, and apparently was never on the set once. By comparison, Henry Cavill earned 14 million for playing the title role. Number 5. According to David S. Goyer, Superman's costume is defined in this film to be an undergarment, all the battle armor goes on top of the suits. That since Superman's a refugee, his outfit doesn't have that gear, and would make him defenseless on his own Kryptonian turf. This is also a nod to pop culture's running joke that Superman's costume appears to be underwear. Number 4. Most of the US military personnel that appear in the film are actual soldiers, Coast Guardsmen, and Airmen, including the Army Rangers that appear during the Smallville battle. 
Most of the equipment and vehicles on screen are also the real article, including M1A1 Abrams tanks and Little Bird helicopters. The services that provided support are the Army, Air Force, and Coast Guard. Number 3. While coming up with the aesthetic of how the Superman physique should look, trainer Mark Twight said that he wanted the classic V-shape, broad shoulders and narrow waist, which Henry Cavill naturally had, he just had to pack on more muscle to his frame. Additionally, he said he looked to Steve Reeves' physique in Hercules, 1958, as a model for Superman, as to attain a Greek god ideal. The twin-engine aircraft in the Smallville ground attack scene are Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt II, Warthogs, and the single-engine aircraft in the Metropolis air battle, are Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning IIs. The A-10 was produced from 1972 to 1984, and the F-35 was still in development, and was not combat-ready until December 2015. Number 2. The tornado scene stirred some controversy with the National Weather Service as overpasses are not considered to be safe shelters in the event of a tornado due to the wind funneling effect increasing the likelihood of being struck by debris. In 1991, many thought overpasses were safe, after a highly publicized video of a television film crew and some civilians survived a tornado near El Dorado, Kansas, by taking shelter under an overpass, although the overpass did not take a direct hit. This film shares a few connections to the reimagined Battlestar Galactica, 2004. Many visual effects shots were modeled after the documentary look, used in Battlestar Galactica, to give it a greater feel of realism. Additionally, two of the staff at the Arctic military base are played by Tomo Peniket and Alessandro Giuliani, leading stars of that series. Number 1. Whereas Superman wears the S symbolizing the Kryptonian hieroglyph for hope, Zod, as seen when removes his armor to fight towards the later part of the film, has a hieroglyph with a strong resemblance to the hammer and sickle of the old USSR in the comic, Superman. Red Sun, an alternate history, where Kal-El's rocket lands in the Ukraine, rather than Kansas, so that Superman is introduced as the Soviet Union's protector, with their national symbol on his chest. By the angle and movement of the heat rays that are emanated by General Zod at 2 hours 3 minutes and 0 seconds, these are the rays that Bruce Wayne observes coming from within the building in Batman vs Superman. They are really amazing, thanks for watching. In case you forgot, you can help this channel grow and enjoy more each time, just like, subscribe and activate notifications. Stay tuned for more videos.